Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well, viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Roddy! I'm Marty. Welcome back everybody to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. We are... We're still continuing up with uh, Turnabout Corner. We might finish the investigation today, we might not. Depends on how long an episode we want to Don't do. look at me like I know. I don't know. That's true, I don't know why I'm like, Marty, I don't know! Do you <laughs> think we're gonna finish? I'm like, I don't know! <laughs> oh, weird, it's Is playing it... out of the TV. Yeah, maybe turn up the volume. Actually, it's fine. No, that'll be fine. I wonder how that'll affect the microphone recording. Yeah. Maybe I'll, I'll try to fix that later, I guess. Anyhow. Uh, let's uh, go yeah, back, let's to, go the back to the garage. This is gonna be- oh, never mind. Nothing. Nothing's happening? Nothing's happening. Then where are we supposed to go? Kataki, I guess? <laughs> what? I thought you liked Little Fong. Yeah, I do. I was just like, mm. ah, I know I she's got the big you. lips. Oh, let's see what uh, Phoenix is up to. Okay. Yeah, well, he was gone. What the heck? <laughs> what are we supposed to do? Oh, maybe Walkie's out. Walkie, okay. Walkie. Waka yeah. Waka. It's June 16th, the detention center visitor's room. Um, I was hoping to meet with my client. Walkie Kataki's just finished questioning. I'll bring him out. Great, finally. Yo, sup, my little imposter. Yeah. What did you call me? Sam, it's you! Sorry, G. Thought you were a leader. My little imposter sure is a strange nickname. It's a clink thing. You wouldn't understand. Did I say imposter? I meant poster. Like, poster girl, right? If you're going to drop part of that, why not drop poster and just call her a girl? Because she's so much more than that, G. She's like, she's like an angel. A fallen angel. So, what can I do for you? You don't look so chipper today, Walkie. Worried about your, um, heart condition, maybe? That was the wackest fiend of all! All this G's lining up taking eye exams! Better to die young than fade away, bzoi! A relief to hear. Eh? W what's a relief? Oh, did your father not tell you? That bullet you carry so close to your heart, if not attended to immediately, it could kill you. B man, I ain't trying to hear that! A man fights to protect what's valuable to him, you know what I'm saying? I miss my fallen angel! Hey, so you go get a leader for me. You're my lawyer, aren't you? Lawyer, not gopher. Say, Shani. <laughs> <laughs> so I hear you're to be married next month? Straight up! We poured the nup nuptial 40 out on the stoop! Alita! Oh, Snapple Cakes! She's so foid! I think he's smitten with her in his own weird way. I was wondering, how did you two meet? I asked Yala, but she was... very vague. Huh? Well, man, if she wouldn't tell you... I'd best hold my tongue, you feel me? What? Man, what's past is past. She knows that. When I'm with Alita, I feel like this fiend's worth protecting out there. You feel me? Yeah. Am I Alita? She's down with that all the way. Hmm, so both of them are mum about their past. What, did he, like, kidnap her or something? <laughs> and then it's like, wow! And then, it, like, in the- Guilty! <laughs> <laughs> could, do you think you could tell us about what happened with you and Paul Maractus? There's something you should know. We Kentuckys are having what you might call a feud with the Rivales family. So about six months back, I go into Rivales to her pecking a knife, right? And you were shot? Coldest fiend I ever seen. One shot to the heart, but my homies weren't too late. It's a miracle that I lived. It's already considered one of the seven wonders of the Kataki family, you know that? So, you were taken to the Maractus Clinic then? You should have seen their faces when they weaved me in. You can't just let the boss's son die, you know? I'd hate to have been in that doctor's shoes. Mr. Kataki's scary enough when he's not angry. But the bullet that hit you, it was never removed? and it's still threatening his life. That doctor, he did it on purpose! The Revolves paid him up, paid him off, I'm sure of it! I need to hear more about the night of the murder, that much is clear. 
wife and the family's a G Dane. It's about being a man. Be a man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I see Mulan. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not up on my G things. I'm not even sure what a G thing is. But my old man, he's gone soft. He says the old rival gang days are over. He just wants to make money. Isn't that a good thing? Man, there ain't no soul in making money. Better to live fast and die young. Faux shizzle. <sighs> Wait till I run the yard. Then everyone will know what time it is. That's right, OG time all the time. Represent. Apollo, why does he keep talking about old guys? I don't think that's what OG means, Trucy. Yeah, whatever. He seems preoccupied. I'm not sure he even looked at my evidence. Avita, man! Avita! Maybe just show him a pair of panties. Maybe that'll spark some interest. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's your mom's underwear. This won't be weird at all. <laughs> <laughs> you whatever. What? That's the only... Oh, show him the knife. And the checkup report. Oh, come on, man. About these weapons, the pistol and the knife... They belong to the family. I snuck them out that night. So the killer Mr. Stickler says he saw that night was... I guess it was me. I was there after all. Yeah, We're finished! Um, yo, Walkie! Do you think you could tell us exactly what happened that night? Heh. <laughs> you don't beat around the bush, do ya? I like your style, Shorty! How short is she, I wonder? I mean, shorter than him. Well, yeah, but... Um, actually, there's a question I've been wanting to ask for a while now. That is, uh, did you do it? Did you shoot him? I don't know. Eh? Huh? The day of that checkup, when I found out about that bullet by my heart, I borrowed a gun from the family stash. Figured I'd give that doctor a taste of his own bad medicine. Uh-oh, I don't like where this is going. But you were carrying a knife, weren't you? Oh, that? Yeah, well, never can be too careful, I say. So I'm on my way to the clinic, right? When I run into him in the park, and he's dragging this noodle stand behind him. Wait, you didn't put him up to that? Like, you know, in the movies? If you value your life, you'll bring the stand. Shorty, you're more whack than I am, and that's saying something. But I was serious. The thing is, I don't remember what happened next all too well. You don't remember? But the way I see it, if, I, if there wasn't anyone else in there that night, then I guess it probably was me who did him in, you know what I'm saying? I wondered if he didn't know, cause like, he hasn't been like, no, it wasn't me, of course not, stupid, like I didn't even do this thing, or, but right. he's like, I did set him up pretty well, Yeah. but then I kind of blanked out. Oh yeah, also, we got the slippers. The slippers? The slippers? The slippers, you know what I'm saying? Ugh. Ugh. The bottom's covered with paint. Did you think it was like barf? <laughs> no, I I knew it was. What's huh? This? Huh? What's this weird shape here? It looks like a leaf was stuck to the bottom when the wearer stepped in some yellow paint. So the outline was left when the leaf was removed. Ah! I got paint on my hand! Apollo! I saw you try to wipe your hand on my cape! Yes, Why is it I still did. wet? I don't know. I wonder, could this be a print? Why would there be a finger? Oh, you mean a toe print! Good call, Apollo! I bet we can analyze it just like a regular print. This could be a vital piece of evidence! Super fun! Yeah, it's nice meanwhile, when you have the walkie, stylus. Meanwhile, walking up top is just like, what the heck are you doing, man? <laughs> Don't worry, we're just playing a little, like, find the treasure game. <laughs> Sprinkle it on. Like, I'm and imagining then... they're interrogating. <laughs> Like, whatever. Hey, it worked! That looks like a big toe, maybe? Wow, I feel like the case is solved already. What was next? We have to match the print, right? Right, let's match it. Wait, the detective didn't give us a list of toe prints, Apollo. Oh, good point. Maybe we should ask her. Get some expert advice. I guess so. I'm not sure she really qualifies as an expert. Well, she's more of an expert on toe prints than us. Oh, wait, hang on. I don't think we've ever examined this stuff in here. Oh yeah, smile for the camera and all that. That security camera's looking at me. I wonder if they tape all of this. They do. They have to by law. 
A security guard. He stands here watching this room. I have no idea if he's listening to us talk. I'm not even sure he's breathing. <laughs> Walkie's like, are you serious, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I do love his expression. <sighs> Now go back to the park, maybe? The park, or maybe now the right agency? Dang it! Come on. Freaking Emma Skye's out getting her snacks. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> now I think we have to go there. No? Sing us a song, you're the piano man. Uh, how about we talk to Tracy? Oh, wait, oh, I'm an idiot. Giving back the bowl? Well, no. Again, we found the bowl here. Well, we've got to check out this clinic, that's for sure. Yeah, but what about the guard? No harm in asking. Um, excuse me. Hey, it's you two from yesterday. That's the same officer that was standing out by the park yesterday, but he has a completely different voice. Your business is over in the park, isn't it? The clinic's off limits. It's not involved. But, but... What part of off limits do you not understand? Show me proof that the clinic is connected to the incident in the park or beat it! No harm in asking, no gain either. No point in sticking around here, I guess. Do we have evidence? Okay, now I think Emma spawns in the park. June 16th, Kataki Mansion. Look at the crowd over by the park! Probably people trying to get a glimpse of the crime scene. But why are those girls screaming? I think I just heard one say, oh my god, it's him! Wait, that motorcycle. I knew it! <laughs> ah, if it isn't Air Forehead. Prosecutor Gavin. Some fans found me on my way out. <laughs> just my luck. Oh my god! Oh my god, he's so cool! Thus, the screams. New album just came out, you know. Try waving to them. They love it. Oh, oh, he's so cute! Ha <laughs> ha! They're so excited, it doesn't matter who waves to them, see? This is surreal. <laughs> um, so you were here investigating? And I was on my way home, when my hog gave up the ghost. Your hog? My motorcycle won't start. A clogged exhaust pipe. Too bad, it looks like such a nice bike, too. Hard to believe that it could break just from that. Did someone throw panties in it again? <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's my fault. I think I was using the wrong oil. Cars, motorbikes, they're all the same. Clog the exhaust and they won't run. Ah, machines. Tell me your- share my angst air forehead. Is this better as a voice for him? A little bit. I ride a bicycle, actually. <laughs> ah, <laughs> In any event, I'm off to get the shop to get her fixed. The detective in charge of the scene isn't fond of me in any case. The detective? You mean the one in the lab coat? Yeah, she's in a foul mood, too. Be gentle. Oh, <laughs> off we descend, baby. Oh my god, oh my god, there he goes! <laughs> and the forecast for the park today, gloomy skies. Well, nothing to do but head on in. Let's hit the park, Apollo. I forgot we met Gavin again, actually. <laughs> Once they said a crowd of people around the park, I'm like, I bet you it's all these dumb fangirls. <laughs> June 16th, people park. Or 10 million grandmothers all like, let me rock through the park! <laughs> <laughs> huh? Does something about this scene look different to you? The blue tarps are gone. Maybe that's it? Yeah, I think you're right. Look over there. The white frocked detective from yesterday. She seems to be apologizing reverently to the trash can. She's under a lot of stress. The investigation's probably not going so well. Hey, you there. If you're going to talk about someone behind their back, do it more quietly, please. Oh, Detective Sky. hello. You seem as gloomy as ever. This is miserable. Miserable! I just got a new kit and I can't get my stuff to work. And everyone's all smiles from the glimmerous frop or flop. Fop! <laughs> I always say frop or flop. It's fop, just <laughs> F-O-P. Yeah. Glimmerous? Does she mean Professor- er, Professor Gavin? <laughs> Professor Gavin in the Curious Village. <laughs> no, I was thinking- I was thinking of Harry Potter. Oh. What would Professor Gavin teach? A band. <laughs> All I can think of- like, Professor Gavin would be the same as, um- Flitwick in the movies. <laughs> no, it was Lockhart. Defense Against the Dark Arts? In, in, just that same personality. Gavin's way nicer than Yeah, Lockhart. but he's like the- he's the guy that all the girls be like, Oh my gosh! 
that's true. Does she mean Prosecutor Gavin? More to the point, doesn't she mean glamorous? When he walks in his shiny chains, catches er, when he walks his shiny chains, catch the sun and glimmer in my eyes. It's distracting. Speaking of distracting, <sighs> I guess I just have to accept the fact that I lack talent. Sounds like she's trying out some sort of new forensics technique. <laughs> I love Emma in this. Yeah, she's great. <laughs> Detective Sky, you know Mr. Wright, correct? How do you know my daddy? I want details! Uh, uh, well... He helped me out a long time ago. You might say he saved me. Wasn't she saying something about getting involved in an incident? I can't stand it when things are vague, especially in a case. I went to study to become a forensic scientist in Europe. But you're a detective now? Well, uh, I failed the test. But you know, rank and title don't matter. What matters is what's inside your heart. I always thought that too. And my heart's full of science. That's why I bought this kit through mail order. And I'm going to test it here before the forensics team arrives. Are you sure that's okay? It's totally fine. I won't lie, I'm not fond of the man. Those glamorous types always rub me the wrong way. Glamorous, right. Prosecutors should be cool of wit and furrowed of brow. Like Edgeworth. Less glimmerous and more simmerous, you know? No, actually, I don't. Well, that and what happened seven years ago. Prosecutor Gavin was the one who stripped Mr. Wright of his attorney's badge. What? Really? He was the one? You mean you didn't know? I thought you were one of his boys. I'm neither a boy nor one of his, but let's see what she has to say. Um, what exactly happened seven years ago? I never actually heard the details. Then investigate. It's better you learned it for yourself anyway. Trucy's like, I know, but I'm not saying anything. Do you mind asking me what exactly it is you've been doing? Squatting down on the ground like that? Oh, you want to know? Do you? Well, I splurged on a new toy. You splurged? You mean it wasn't a police issue? What is it? I see a roller and glue? <laughs> it's Splatoon, but... <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> but just... it's like hardcore. You put the glue down and you can't wash it away. <laughs> She's just running around the park like... Scott! <laughs> <laughs> this is a footprint analysis kit. Perfect! Footprint? It was raining on the night of the murder, which means that footprints were left. Oh, does that have anything to do with those blue tarps? Right! The ground was muddy, so I had to protect it as it was that night. Ever wanted to know exactly where someone was standing? Like your panty-snatching student witness, for instance? Aha! So with that kit! Right. What? Wanna try this stuff out? Huh? Are you sure? I mean, we're sort of on opposing teams and all. Oh, psh, you're We're friends! And, to tell you the truth, I'm not so good at doing this. Guess I'm a little clumsy. I could use your help. Ooh, I'm good at stuff like this. I used to make magic bunnies out of paper mache. Footprint analysis, huh? Well, should I give it a go? No. <laughs> no. I think I'll pass. Wouldn't want to waste a kid if I messed up. Really? That's too bad. I really could use the help. Aw, oh, I wanted to try it. It would be just like making pancakes in the dirt. I guess I can always talk to her again if I change my mind. Did you chain your mind? <laughs> huh? Still interested in the bleeding edge of forensic science? Why didn't you say so in the first place? Uh, footprint analysis, huh? Well, I guess I should give it a go. Okay, I'll give it a go! That's the spirit. Right, allow me to explain. <clears throat> One moment. She's reading the instructions for her kit. Why does this not fill me with confidence? First, we have to pick the footprint, or in this case, shoe print we want to anal analyze. I've taken the liberty of marking all shoe prints in the park. Well, which shoe print should we start with? If we're going to verify the defendant's account, here's the place to start. Shoe prints prepared to be examined! Ooh, this is so exciting! I like all the forensic stuff you do in this. Right, here goes. First, pour the plaster into the print until it's full. You try it. How am I supposed to do that? Just touch the screen where you want to pour the plaster. Like this. Hmm, that doesn't look too hard. 
If you run out of plaster in your beaker before you're done, you have to start over. In other words, if someone has like the most gigantic feet, you're just like, <sighs> stupid people who have size 13 feet. Stupid Jerry Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, you're handier with that than you look. What's that supposed to mean? On to the next step. Uh, dry the plaster until it turns white. Right. Just touch to dry the dryer. Or to direct the dryer. There. Give it a shot. Good thing we just have a hair dryer on hand. This is- Emma Sky was actually doing her hair. She's like, oh my gosh. Gotta, gotta look my look best while eating snacks. Looks like it's hardened nicely. Let's take a look. Hmm. Yes, that's a good one. Next, the ink. Ready for the next step? Use the roller to ink the shoe print part. Hold it to the roller- or hold onto the roller tight now and roll it up and down. <laughs> what happens if you let go? Is it just like- <laughs> <laughs> Roll remember in Kingdom Hearts 3, where if you flambe the stuff too much- <laughs> 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 Oh man, Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, keep going until you get enough ink on there for a good print. I should just play Splatoon music over this. Scott! Right, now the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's take our print. Ready? Here goes. It's an involved process. Oh, that's really good. Let's see if we get a match. What if people have the exact same shoes? Emma Sky. Oh, she's wearing heels. In the grass? Are you insane? That's what it looks like. I mean, there's nothing in the middle there. You've got she the must be wearing heels. That's so stupid! You're in a freaking park! <laughs> Achtun, I wear my shoes with my band's name. <laughs> like, uh, with my band symbol on the back. <laughs> Wesley Stickler, I also wear heels. <laughs> no, he doesn't wear heels. <laughs> no, he wears, like, he wears, uh, he wears the really old-fashioned shoes. Yeah, or, like, the tap shoes or whatever. Tap shoes? <laughs> shoes with the weird metal bottoms. Right. Plum Kataki. Hi, guys. I wear just normal flip-flops. <laughs> yeah. Walkie Kataki. Right, that's him. But... <laughs> I have square feet. Capiche. <laughs> like he has a square jaw. Paul He just Maractus. has... He just... Pal. Not Paul. I keep saying Paul. Yeah, I need to stop that. Guy will do. I got pretty well, chair shoes. <laughs> what happens if, like, two people wear the same brand sneakers and you're like, whoops? Okay, looks like two oh, well. females wear, like, those sketcher shoes with the sequins on them. Right. <laughs> That's well, well, thankfully, Walkie has gum on his shoe, so that helps. That would be Walkie. Match found. So the shoe prints belong to Walkie Kataki after all. He was in the park on the night of the crime. Wow, I can almost see the science at work. Don't you love it? Ah, oh, nothing feels better. She's definitely way more into this than I am. Just let me know if you want to do some more. I'll be here, solving the case, with science. Well, that certainly brightened her mood. Well, I would say we should look at everything. I think we have three. Uh, Detective right Sky, uh, mind if we give it another go? Right on. Leave no prints un unanalyzed, I say. Now to pick which print you want to have analyzed. Let's make sure Wesley Stickler really was here. Yep, he was. I already know. <laughs> Just trust me on that. <laughs> Okay, looks good. Next to dry the plaster. Oh yeah, this part. <laughs> Cease this at once. <laughs> okay, let's take out the mold. Yeah, this is a lot quicker this time. Hmm, yeah, that's a good one. Next, the ink. <laughs> right, now the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's take our print. Ready? Here goes. Oh man, he's like has a Harry Potter scar on the bottom yeah. of his sneakers. Let's see if we get a match. We have a match. How in the world did you get a print of my shoe? I don't remember submitting that to the police. Yep. <laughs> match found. This is cool. So these shoe prints belong to Mr. Wesley Stickler. This confirms his testimony, the final version of it at least. He lied like eight times. Yeah. Now we know where the panty snatcher was standing.
Detective Sky, uh, mind if we give it another shot? I believe you're beginning to appreciate the wonder that is forensic science. If only the forensic science was this fun in all the games. Now to pick which print you want analyzed. There's a weirdo print. Is this Kitaki? No, that, that's the square. Oh, good. Okay, looking good. Dry it. I've been working as a sailor when you five or twenty years away. <laughs> when you use a hair dryer more in a video game than in real life. I do use a hair dryer more in a video game than I do in real Even life. Even me. Right, now the moment you've all been waiting for. Take the print. Why do you need a hairbrush? You don't have any hair. <laughs> Thanks, oh. Junior Asparagus. Yeah. It's like, why do you need a hairbrush? You're bald. Huh, that's a funny shoe print. Is that even a shoe? It is strange. So smooth. Except for the part with the leaf. I can say without even looking that this print doesn't match any of the prints on our list. Hmm, a mystery print. But we have the same one with a leaf on it. We do indeed. They're slippers. Ah, the slippers. That's quite a clear print there. A toe print. Too bad we don't know who the toe is. Well, there is one way of finding out, of course. There is? What? All you need is a sample of the same toe print off of another shoe, for example. Oh, right. So if the prints matched, you know the same person wore both. Hmm, do I have another shoe worn by the same person? Yeah, no. No, I can't think of anything that might have with a toe print on it. Oh, well, it was too much to hope for, I suppose. Let me know if you find something. A toe print sample. Hmm. Much, 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 much. <laughs> uh, should we present stuff to her? I think we did this last Sorry, time. Sorry, I don't think I can help you with that. I think you need more than just scientific help. But ask me anything you like. Just ask scientifically. Well, maybe we could get snacks in our court record. Present. Hey, underwear. <laughs> Sorry, you need more than scientific help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. You got underwear just hanging out in your back. Well, all right, well, I think that we're going to have to split this into two episodes yeah, then. Yeah, okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. Tune in next time. We'll be finishing up the investigation, even if it takes, like, five hours. Well, it, no, maybe not. It won't. <laughs> Anyhow, look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.